Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. I'm Billy, if you, didn't, if you didn't know, and if you ever see me anywhere, please come and say hi. I'm as normal as you can get, and I'm certainly not big-headed. I suffer with anxiety, so, you know, I'm not a nervous wreck, right? but, uh, you know, you never know. So today, um, one of my favourite breweries, and, it, you know, Bang the Elephant, or a brewery that I see that are destined to become superstars in the brewing scene. They already produce some of the best beers uh, that I think anyway across the UK. And uh, you know, I've drank a lot of beers, <laughs> a hell of a lot of beers. And uh, you know, people I speak to, um, people at Emperor's Brewery, and if you don't know Emperor's Brewery, where have you been? You know, he rates these guys. That's why he works with them. So, yeah. And they've been tutelaged also by the likes of Empress Brewery. By the likes of Simon, the ex-Blue Monkey Head Brewer. And I think it's Simon, no? Simon King, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, and like everyone, they learn. You learn. You And what I get from both the lads is a buzz and, and, it, and I feed off that buzz because positivity in my job at work as a gardener positivity it's the same with beer reviews the positivity that I get off people commenting interaction I love positivity as somebody who suffers with really bad anxiety and stress and depression you know mental health Positivity is is amazing, and and that ability to to always try and do something better, try and you know bring out something with a wow factor. So, in any case, let's get to the bit. So this is a tequila barrel aged golden sour ale, not my normal uh, cup of tea, as it were, and it's Dexter's Thermonuclear Tequila Fruit Bomb. So. You can get this from uh, Bang the Elephant site itself. And if you live local East Midlands, Adventure Beer is also a good outlet. So, especially if you live in Nottinghamshire, because uh, if you spend over 15 or 20 quid, you can get it for free delivery. So, hey. Um, you know, the sales will all, all help. So I'll read what it says on the back and then we'll crack on with the beer itself. So, enter at your own peril, past the bolted doors where impossible things may happen that the world has never seen before. I apologise if my reading is not crap. We filled some tequila barrels with our golden sour ale, then threw in a load of pineapples and habanero chilies and let it sleep for six months. And this is some of the stuff they do. Michael and Nigel, the two brewers, owners, brewers, top class blokes. If, if you go into Robin Hood Beer Festival, I mean, personally, they should be at Derby's Beer Con. And uh, that's possibly the reason why I thought, well, I'm not going. Um, but uh, there are Nottingham's Robin Hood Beer and Cider Festival. I'll get the Cider Festival in case anybody from Canberra's watching. And uh, yeah, they'll hate me. But, you know, don't put things on Twitter. Um, but anyway, yeah, they've got a bar at the Robin Hood Beer Festival this year. And, uh, you know, go and chat to them. Their positivity is, is, is just um, their enthusiasm for the beer world. It's not a job. It's, it's more than a job. As I am as a gardener, it's more than just being a job just earning money it's not about that it's about pushing boundaries it's about doing more it's about learning and obviously there's a beer review i want to do more you know i want to do interviews with brewers uh brew and um, take you around the breweries but obviously you know and at some stage do some bloody collabs but um you know uh these things hopefully will happen in the future. So it's a golden pour. Here we go. 
So as always, I yak, you know. But I'm, you know, I know this brewery. These guys reached out to me, which was ultra kind of them, you know. Um, as somebody who's got, you know, issues, mental health issues, fuck off. And uh, didn't mean to swear then, obviously. <laughs> so, so it's hazy, golden, centimetre of white head, and it's tequila fruit bomb. And uh, here we go. Something to do with Cartoon Network, this is as well. So that's what Adventure Beer posted. I, I obviously don't know anything about the Cartoon Network. I don't watch cartoons, do I? So on the nose, pineapple, orange on the nose. No inclination of what's coming. So that's as good, that's good. I like it now. It's making me smile. Smiling's good, talking's good. You know, part of the reason I do beer reviews is, is for mental health and sneaky beer. And uh, and I've had to go back to recording videos and uploading the bleeders, which takes so much time. Luckily, I've got a spare phone. This phone you're watching me on that. Yeah. Tequila. There's a dryness flowing in. Fruity. Heat. Getting that habanero. Ooh, it's got a bloody bit of heat to it. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Oh, it's funny. The, 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 and I'm smiling. <laughs> the, uh, over two, of, well, basically I've been doing beer reviews for four years, but really first year and a half off the radar. Nobody really took any notice of the channel. And since then it's got a bit more. We passed a million uh, views which is which is awesome um still quite a a low channel in, in in the grand scheme of things i suppose you know and i've certainly not let it go to my head i'm still the same person i always was yeah utter bloody stress ed who, who, who stands in the background who doesn't want to come forward who, although if i did come forward uh personality wise i've got a good personality well i think i've in the right at least Sometimes, at least, you know. And I really hate fake people. But there you go. Hey. Oh. Sour dryness and the fire. These guys, and I've said this uh, in the description. They are craft beer wizards. And some of the stuff they're doing, different beers. I was lucky that I went to the brewery the other day. Yeah, absolute trek and a half to get there through these farty little villages into some bloody roadworks. But I got there and it was lovely to see them. You know, top class blokes. Um, um, and, uh, you know, across the beer community in Nottingham. The ones that talk to you anyway, because not all of them do. You know, not all of them are interested in beer reviewers. And that. Although, I'm quite a positive beer reviewer who loves Nottingham, but you know, there you go. Um, but the ones that do, you know, it's I get a lovely, it's, it's like you're part of a family, you know, and uh, I feel like that. And I feel at ease. And, uh, Obviously, loving the stuff they're doing, admiration for them. Obviously, it's a tough business being in brewing, you know, selling your beer. And there are some, we are so lucky locally, not just Nottingham, but Derby as well. Not so sure about Leicester. Um, yeah, <laughs> but Nottinghamshire, and certainly fringes of Derby, there's some amazing breweries. That's just reminding me, I've had some beer from a couple of breweries just recently. Mm. Oh, 
I could go on all night talking, but my this will take an age to upload if I do. So, so it is sour, albeit um, sour, dry, fiery, fruity, tequila. Uh, it's a real tour de force on the, um, just looking at myself on the, God, I've aged. Um, yeah, I look in the mirror upstairs, I look great. Yeah, I look on the, I look on the phone and I think, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, it's a real tour de force of a beer. 8%, so it's a nice ABV and only five quid, which for an 8 percenter is a pretty decent price in this day and age, I tell you. The guys have got a new canning line. I was there the other day to see it in operation. And uh, that's great. My beef, the only beef I've got about some of, some of our good local breweries is the fact that they don't put their bloody beer into cans often enough. And cask sells. I get that. I get that. You know, you put it into cask, you sell the cask. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. But um, beer into cans, one, it's great for me, beer reviews, in the shed, in the beer room, because, you know, this is home. I, when I'm here, I'm sat by my mates. My mates? All these lot on the back wall behind me, yeah. And uh, I can talk, I can do a beer review, I can get emotional, as I'm getting at the moment, actually. Um, and you see the real side, you know, and, uh, whew, got a lot of emotional stuff going off at the moment. So it's, uh, tough at the moment. Um, but yeah. So yeah, Robin and Bear Festival coming up soon. Um, great to see these guys there. Um, and there's a possibility, possibility, that I may get down for the Wednesday trade session. Uh, that would be amazing. Um, you know, to do, not all night, Jesus Christ. Um, to do four or five hours there on my own. Talk to the brewers, take loads of videos and really promote the beer festival, you know. And, uh, yeah. YouTube shorts will, will be, there'll be loads of YouTube shorts going. I really want to promote each and every brewery that are there and, you know, do my bit. Use this channel to promote a local beer festival, but a good beer festival. Well, <clears throat> yeah, most part. But, uh, you know, I, I, if I'm being honest, and I will be honest, uh, I've had a few issues with the local camera people. Somebody, you know, they reply to me. And I, I, I know one or two of the replies. I don't know the full replies. And I've, I've had a few grotty, you know, but, um, shall we say off the cuff remarks. And, uh, but the vast majority of people on Nottingham camera are obviously super decent people so you know and people who support real ales and beers for me you know as I do the same in these beer reviews are good so one needs to look past and I need to I need to myself look past one or two that are obviously stuck in the old ways and haven't got a clue how to talk to people online and uh and and move forward in that respect you know and uh yeah although if they come to me and got arse then <laughs> you're gonna get some back and uh, trust me it's a beast you don't want to unleash but uh yeah as a nice person but uh yeah, yeah. but in any case wow long review jesus christ you can tell that I'm really at home with this one, the brewery, one, the beer. And uh, yeah, so 
it's hazy, it's golden, it's a sour ale, it's tequila, it's fiery, it's, there's a dry moment, there's layers. God knows how to do these things. Although technically, I was given a few secrets the other day. They ain't going online because those secrets are going to help me when I do my own homebrew, all grain brewing. You know, the raggy at some stage. Uh, would I do a commercial beer at some stage on my own? No, possibly not. But it'd be lovely, you know, at some stage to uh, replicate the old Lincoln Green thing. And uh, yeah. so two years ago would not be my style of beer. It's amazing how over time your taste buds change, you adapt to new horizons. And uh, wow, uh, an eight percent, so an imperial strength, um, sour ale. This is what these guys bring to the, you know, they rewrite the, the beer world and that is bloody good. No need to stay stagnant. We don't want bloody stagnant things. We want to be, you know, to go modern. We want to be rewriting. We want to do things a new way. When I was a gardener, all of a sudden blowers that you put on your back to blow came out. I was the first person, probably one of the first in the UK, to use a backpack blower. My work, my fellow gardeners, I'm not using that. I'd rather rake. All right, I'm blowing. Did like 10 times the amount of grass that they did. Bloody hell, I want to use that. M you know, modernising the beer world, thinking forward, you know. It's only through moving forward do we do we change and there's it needs to be so many beer reviews, you know, um, positivity over negativity. I don't like negativity. Try to keep away from it. Why? Because I get drained in. So positivity. In any case, I rattle on long enough. This is a good beer review. But no, nothing left on my phone soon, so I need to make sure I get it in. It'll take about, it'll take about a day to upload. Um, but yeah, absolute belting golden sour ale. Go to Bang the Elephant Brewing's website. Uh, Google it for that. Or if you live... Bloody fly. Or if you live local... To the East Midlands uh, Adventure Beer. Check your postcodes to see if you you get the postage. Uh, but an amazing beer, absolutely top dollar, and that's weird. Two years ago, it was like, what's this shite? And apologies for the swearing. Now it's like, woo. The journey, the journey of beer, you know. This is where. You've, you've, you've drank something, wine, beer, whatever you've drank, you had a bad experience, okay? We all do, yeah? I had one last night because, um, yeah. I'm not going down that road on camera, I'll be in tears. But the journey that we have, um, and, uh, you know, now I embrace this. It's amazing. Um, for me, a good 4.55, absolutely belting sour. Two years ago, I'd have poured that down the drain and said it was no. Right, actually, I wanted them. But I would have drank it and I probably would have been a bit more. But now, I absolutely love it. Wow. All about the journey. Yeah. Um got to take a photo so I'm going to drink this off camera but uh, for those watching uh, I did say 4.55 didn't I yeah would I drink it again yes I've actually got two more iterations of it behind me on the beer wall um, and again thank you to Bang the Elephant for 
let me sample four of their new beers. Although driving home after that, fucking hell. <coughs> Pardon my French. Yeah. In any case, um, absolutely top class brewery. You know, those who watch this channel, you know, I'm probably the most vociferous, if that's a word, of all the beer review people about Bang the Elephant. And for all the other people, all the other beer reviewers out there, you need to get some. Trust me. Come on. Yeah, don't matter where you are in the country. You can order it if you want to. Optimism is another place, I think, that get Bang the Elephant. Left field beer as well. Get yourself some. You know, these guys, as good as the Cloud Waters, the Beaks, the other local breweries, Neon Raptor, Black Iris, and so on and so forth, um, they are a true tour de force. And they're genuine people. And I'm going to be uploading this for about three flipping days um, because of the resolution. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you like these beer reviews, subscribe, like, comment, but be nice. The world needs nice 21 minute shit. <laughs>